In Daniel chapter 5, it's the story of Nebuchadnezzar's son, um, Belshazzar. And Nebuchadnezzar's son uh, is, is at a party. He's drinking out of the, the cups that, that Babylon has pillaged from, from the, um, the temple in Jerusalem. And then something strange happens. In verse 5 it says, In that same hour, in the same hour, came forth fingers of a man's hand and wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's palace. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. Then the king's countenance was changed, and his thoughts troubled him, so that the joints of his loins were loosed, and his knees smote one against the, another. And the king cried aloud to bring in the astrologers and the Chaldeans and the soothsayers. And the king spake and said to the wise men of Babylon, Whosoever shall read this writing and show me the interpretation thereof shall be clothed with scarlet and have a chain of gold about his neck and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom. And then came all the king's wise men, but they could not read the writing nor make known to the king the interpretation thereof. Then was King Belteshar greatly troubled, and his countenance was changed in him, and his lords were astonished. I think that this um, this experience that Belteshar has, as seeing this writing on the wall and not understanding it, and it not fitting within his his frame of reference, I think this happens to all of us sometimes. We come across things that surprise us and disturb us, things that can't be explained and that we don't understand. Um, Maybe it's the death of a loved one, or maybe it's a miscarriage. We had a miscarriage in my family that um, that I had given my wife a, a blessing. And, um, uh, and it was even a blessing that the baby would be okay. Uh, but then later, the next day or later that night, she miscarried. And that was something that shook me. It disturbed me. It was, it was hard for me. Um, God doesn't always write things in our life in a language that we understand. And oftentimes it humbles us. And sometimes it's not, it's, it, we don't recognize it as the finger of God. We just see something happening in our life that we don't understand. Um, the scriptures for a lot of people, I think are like this writing on the wall. They're hard for other people to understand and I think it requires humility. At some point, Balthazar needed to turn to, to Daniel, who was one of his king's counselors. And, and Daniel, quite frankly, is not, is not very respectful to the king. Like the king offers him lots of gold and, and, and things, and he says, let the, thy gifts be to thyself and give thy rewards to another. Yet I will read the writing unto the king make known unto him the interpretation. And then Daniel calls out um, Balthazar. He said that Nebuchadnezzar had experiences that should show Balthazar to respect God, but um, but that Balthazar and Balthazar should have learned from this and humbled him, um, humbled himself. So in verse 22, it says, And thou his son, O Balthazar, hast not humbled thine heart, Though thou knewest all this, but thou hast lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven. This is the king of Babylon. This is a powerful guy that Daniel is calling out. And then he, essentially the interpretation is that, you know what? God's numbered your kingdom and finished it. You're weighed in the balances of God and found wanting, and your kingdom is divided. And you're going to be conquered. Um, so it's not a helpful prophecy for Balthazar. Um, and it took takes some humility for him to understand it. Um, but yeah, I think that eventually turning to God, humbling yourself to God is what, is what God wants in these experiences. When you don't understand what's going on, it is always helpful to humble yourself and admit that you don't understand what's going on and that God is smarter than you and he understands what's going on. So you're just going to have to trust him. And even though you don't understand.